in this video, we will talk about subqueries in Monet database. I will first create two sample tables. I will create a table outer query and inside it I will place data for its two columns. I will just place two rows and then I will uh, create similar table with the name inner query and this other table will also have only two rows And at the end, we can see our table. So I will run select from outer query. This is our table. It has rows A1 and B2. And we also have inner query table, which have rows B2 and C3. I will now clear my screen. Subquery is by definition a select query that is nested inside of some other statement. For example, inside of select statement, update statement or delete statement. Uh, we can use subqueries for different purposes. One of those is that we can use it instead of source table. So instead of writing a statement like this one, where we are reading data from inner query table, we can also use a statement like this other one, like this one, where we are reading data from select statement. So if we run this, we would get the same result uh, in this case, I'm using really simple subquery, but this uh, select statement would become much more complex. Whenever we are using subquery, we have to provide parentheses. So they are mandatory, but only if we are using subquery instead of source table, in that case, we also have to provide an alias. It's possible to use subquery uh, inside of join. For example, in this example here, we are making a join between this table, this would be the join, and this subquery. So if we run this, we would join this table and this select statement. It is also possible to use several simple subqueries to create one more complex subquery by using set operators. So this is one simple subquery, the other one simple subquery, and then we can create a union between uh, those two subqueries in order to create one compound subquery and to get a result like this one. I will now clean my screen. If our subquery is returning a scalar, in that case, uh, we can use that subquery to create a column expression, something like this one. The only condition is that this subquery has to return only one value per row. So if you run this, we would get that only value. If we uh, run this in combination with some uh, columns from some table, in that case, our result of this subquery will be repeated on each row. I will now clean my screen. The most common usage of subqueries is inside of Boolean expressions, where subqueries are used as operands. Uh, we use those expressions in where or having uh, clauses. And uh, because those are expressions, we can use different operators. And we will now focus on those operators. So I will not use where we're having uh, clauses. We will still use select statement. So we can use something like this. Uh, in this case, our subquery will return a scalar. And because this is a scalar, then we can use comparison operators. We can use equality, uh, greater than, less than, greater or equal and so on. So this uh, statement will return true because the result of this subquery is two. So two is equal to two. So we will get true. But we can negate this result if we use not operator. So we can use something like this. Now we have placed not in front of this uh, comparison. So we would get the opposite result. We would get false. If our subquery is returning column, then we can use in operator. In operator will check whether this value is inside that column. Now values in this column are two and three. So this should return true. And this, this is the same as if we would use expressions like this one. This would give us a column with two values. Or we can also uh, use an expression with values close. In this case, this would be our column. So we are again checking whether two is inside of this column. 
Now we should remind ourselves that if we are using values code, we can write it like this one. So this would return a column, or we can write it like this. In this case, we would get a row with two columns. Now, in some databases, it is possible to use a uh, statement like this one. In this case, we are checking whether these two values are inside of these two columns. But this will not work in Monet because uh, this functionality is still not implemented. I will now clean my screen. Two interesting operators are all and then. If we use a statement like this one, in this case, we are comparing this number with all of the results from this subquery. This subquery will return one column. In it, we will have several values. In this case, we will have values two and three. And we want to check whether number one is smaller than all of those numbers. So one is smaller than two. It is also smaller than three. So this condition is satisfied for all of the numbers. So this should return true. On the other side, if we have at least one row where this condition is not satisfied, for example, uh, 2 is smaller than 3, but it is not smaller than 2. This is not satisfied for all of the numbers, so this will return false. As a more relaxed condition, we can use any. Any is asking whether there is at least one row where this condition is satisfied. In this case, 2 is smaller than 3, and that is all that we need. We have one row where this condition is satisfied, uh, so we are using this operator any or some, that means some row where this condition is satisfied, in that case, this would return true. Uh, then we have operator exists. This operator is simple. This operator is looking whether this subquery will return some rows. Now, this subquery will return no rows because of this uh, condition that is never satisfied. So in this case, exists will return false. But if we return some rows with our subquery. In this case, we would get only one row, but that is enough. Exists will return true. Uh, we can notice here that when uh, we are using subquery as an operand, uh, we should pay attention that this subquery will return the same data type as another operand in order to use uh, some operators between them. Uh, we can also notice that all of these expressions are returning true or false. And that is the most uh, common usage of uh, subqueries in some expressions because we want to use uh, those Boolean results as a filter in where or having clauses. You can also notice here that when we are writing a subquery, we are always writing on the right side of an operator. Now, this is mandatory in some uh, databases, but it is not mandatory in Monet database. For example, in Monet database, we can write our subquery on the left side, but this is not a convention, so I will not use this, but this is working in Monet. I will now clean my screen. We will now see how to use one of those Boolean expressions in having close. I will divide our statement in two parts. This is the first part. This part will uh, create this table, and this time we are using grouping, so we have group by close. A uh, second statement will present our subquery. And this subquery will return a scalar. That scalar is 2.5. And then I will uh, connect these two statements with having close. So I will use something like this. In this case, this uh, statement is the same as this statement above. It will create this table. And I want to filter this uh, table by using having close. Inside my having close, I have this other select uh, statement, this one here, that will return 2.5. So my having close is making a condition that sum of a number should be greater than 2.5. So if I run this, I would only get rows with 4 and 3 because those two numbers are bigger than 2.5. I will now clean my screen. We will now see how to use those Boolean expressions in WHERE clause. I will first remind us on our table. So we have outer query table and we have inner query table. And then I will use one update statement this time. 
that will create a change in outer query table. Uh, this update statement has a subquery that will read from this column here. It will read from inner query table, it will read these values. And we will check whether some of the numbers from outer query table, so from this column, is part of this table. Well, one is not a part of this uh, column, two is part of this column. And when that condition is satisfied, so where number is inside of that column, we will change that number to five. So if I run this, we can now read from our outer query table, and we will see that now instead of two, we have five. And we can use uh, one other update statement, which will change this number five to two again. In this case, uh, we are again reading values from inner query table, and we are checking whether there is some number in this column here that is bigger than all of the values from this inner query table. And that is number five, and that number five will be changed back to number two. So we can run this, and we can again read from our outer query table, and we will see now that this number five is changed back to two. Now, when we are looking at uh, some statement like this one, we can now understand why have I named my tables outer query and inner query. Inner query is actually a synonym for subquery, that is a nested query, and outer query is a name for the main uh, query, and these two tables can show us what query is nested query and what query is the main query. I will now clean my screen. One uh, special usage of subqueries is inside of correlated uh, queries. This is one correlated query. Inside of it, we have one subquery, and that subquery is here. And this IQ means inner query. So this subquery is using data from inner query, but it is also referencing one column from outer query. So what does this mean? This means that inner query, that is subquery, will be executed once per each row of the main query, and each time it is executed, it will use some of the values from this outer query. Uh, if we go here to this web page, we can see an example of this. When we are executing this part of select uh, query, we are getting these two columns here. And then we have our subquery executed uh, once per each row. So per each row, we will execute our subquery, and each time our subquery will use one of the values from the main query as its parameter. It doesn't have to use only one value. You can use uh, many values from different columns, but this time we are using only values from this column in our subquery. So our subquery will be executed many times. In this case, it will, will return null. In this case, it will return two. So if we run this in our database, we would get such result. Uh, now, there is one problem with uh, correlated queries. They are quite slow, so they are powerful, but they are not really fast, and we should use them only for small tables. And I want to show you one more thing. When we are using a subquery, we shouldn't use order by because it doesn't do anything, and in many uh, databases, it is not possible to use order by uh, closed inside of subquery. But in Monet, it is possible. It will not change anything, but we can use it and it will not be a mistake. 